So today we're doing a video review on a tool. This is a tool that acts like a harmonic balancer. They're available for purchase. I made mine um, just because I didn't want to wait for it. He said it takes a week to get anything. If you ever watch a movie, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, a guy goes to get his uh, Paul made the Dapper Dan. I'm a Dapper Dan man. I don't want no fop. <laughs> And so he goes to order it in, everything, the belt for their car, everything's two weeks out, it's a geographical oddity. <laughs> Ain't this place a geographical oddity? <laughs> he says, well that's the way this place, everything takes a week or more to get here. It's all coming from California or whatever. So anyway, I took the old one, because the customer had the old one, I said, hey, can I have that? And so what I did is I took my plasma cutter, and I put the plasma cutter at an angle like this, and cut all the way around and cut out the old one so that I have the same uh, thing basically. You can see the uh, Woodruff key or Cotter key, whatever. And then I took an old, what is this, a 31 30 second socket that you never use for anything and uh, basically welded that into it. You know, just kind of trimmed it out. Now, why in the world would I need a tool like this? I'm glad you asked. When I loaded the timing belt on this the first time, I screwed it up. Now I've done a lot of Subaru timing belts, but every now and then you have a problem. You know, if I see that something's got these, you know, these uh, variable timing things and all that kind of stuff and it's been torn down, sometimes there's not oil in it, something happens, something gets off. So normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to take your harmonic balancer, put that on there, put the bolt on there, crank it on, tighten it up and do all that just so that you can rotate the engine a couple times and verify it's on then you have to take it back off again and then put the timing cover on and then put it back on again all this on and on and off again just forget that that's what this is for basically I have a socket so I don't have to have a socket on a bolt on a harmonic balancer I use this as a socket just aim the key in the down position when you're at top dead center just reach down in there wiggle wiggle click and now I can go directly onto it with my ratchet and I can, you know, just rotate it this way. Now you can put your harmonic balancer on. This one actually comes with a fancy little tool. And this is another way to do it. Come on over here, I got something to show you. See, this has a little tool plate and then you can put your ratchet on it. But then you've got this big old thing rotating around and then you'll have to pull it off and restart it and all that kind of stuff. But this bolt's on there, you got these little, uh, I just glue them onto there because you know you're going to use it on this one. So you just set that on there so it won't scratch by the way. So you can put this on there and you can rotate it with that and that kind of satisfies but it's not near as fast. And if you're going to do a lot, if you're only going to do a couple of Subarus, it's not worth your time to build one, buy one, whatever. But I do a lot of Subarus. Day in, day out, every month, I'm doing Subarus, so I thought it would be worthwhile to build that tool. And as it turns out, it's going to be a really handy little thing to have. So what you can do is you can rotate your engine quickly, verify that your timing marks line up. So you're coming back around. That's 180 degrees on the cam, so that's one full turn on the crank. I've got a busted knuckle, so I'm being real sissy going slow just because I'm tired of it banging. I did a bunch of snow blowing and turning the handle to change the chute direction made it really tender. So I line that up. I look here and my marks are on here. My marks are on here and they're on down here. And The other thing is a harmonic balancer blocks your marks so you can't see it very well. This is nice because you can see clear up underneath the gear and see the one on the timing or just use the one on the face. You can pull it off quick and look at it. So do you need this tool? Well, you know you don't. There's ways around it. But will this tool help you to save time and make more money? It will if you do a lot of Subarus. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, be sure to click like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more like this, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.